Have a great day, sir. When we opened, everybody thought we were crazy. A lot of times in the first 10 years, it was touch and go. At the beginning, I spent 24-7 just because I want to make it. I've got that entrepreneurial spirit where I just dive in and I figure out how to get it done. It took my brother and I five, six, seven businesses before we figured out the formula that worked for us. It's personal. You know you put your heart and soul to make things happen. I think people see that we work hard and that we're invested in, in a brand that they can also be invested in. People didn't think we could do it, and we've, we've done it. The month of April was a pretty trying time. A lot of sleepless nights and worrying about what was going to happen going forward. Our initial thought was just kind of panic and fear. People was afraid. It wasn't easy. It wasn't like something you ever think will happen. People needed guidance, and either you were going to step up and lead your staff or not. Community was very instrumental to every decision we made because we felt in a time of uncertainty that we owed them that sense of community, that Rosie's was still going to be here for them. All the people working at our location, they did their job and they make the community happy. Thank you. We've never gone through anything like this before, but we can manage it. And, and these are the ways we manage it. And I think that's made a huge difference here. I think the support that we've received from the community, like that's been huge to me to see that kind of support wrapping around all these local businesses, and including ours. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the good people. When you've got a, a loyal group of customers that will drive to your business to support you, it makes you feel like you're doing some things right.